So it tripped the fuse in the house, which suggests, well, it did both. It did earth leakage and the other one, uh, over voltage. So I don't know, did it come off? It looks like it's still attached there. It might have been an earth leakage fault. I could try it again, see if it does it again. Just leave it as it is for now. Voltage is turned down on the Variac. Let's plug it in. Let's see what it does. Let's see what it does. Let's see what it does. stopped by itself there again when I turned up the voltage it just kind of started going loco as well so let's see it might have been the fuse in the house again so on closer inspection it's just the power cable has come disconnected because the uh, tub jumped out so I'm wondering should I try and hook it back up on the springs I don't see one spring over there another one's got to be in here somewhere maybe it's still connected up on top I don't see it there it won't have gone far. I'll try and get it back together. I might take the bottom ballast off, although the front's still attached, so it's not. I might leave it on. We'll see. So I've gotten wired up again, and we'll see. See what happens. I'm not sure if we're going to get any satisfaction because it's just hanging on the springs. I'll throw the same ballast in again. Let's see. So I've pulled the power off again there. I have a feeling it's just gonna keep doing that. Don't know if we lost the belt actually, or if we lost, we didn't lose power, so it must've been the belt. Yeah, and that's normally a sign of trouble. Completely smashed the tub apart. Look at that. It's pretty good, really. As smashes go. Pulled the tub apart. That spring's just hanging on up in space up there. Got a bit of shearing around there of the rubber seal. That, that was probably it actually. The rubber seal probably came out, jammed it. Let's see. Yeah, it's still it's still turning, but it's not right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool smash. There you go. Logic. Did alright, I reckon. Happy days. Thanks for watching. See you later.